Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's OK Mall. Today I have another episode of The Doors of Trithius. So the goal today is to finish the quest or at least continue with the Gremlins Grief mission. However, we have to wait an entire day, so we're going to do some other activities while that day passes. The other one we need to work on, I think, is here is Ascension. Not entirely sure how to do that, but I'm pretty sure the guy we need to talk to is in here. Maybe if we talk to him. Is he going to tell us anything? No. My guess is these Ascension Fragments. Look at our map. Would probably be inside of these temples. Because there's a lot of these temples all over the place. That's a bandit. Um, so my guess is to kind of visit these and see if we can find the Ascension Fragments. Which could take a very, very long time to do. And I'm not entirely sure I'm up for that task. So for the time being, let's go visit these, uh, uh, whatever these place is called. The Leafborn villages. Go to the trading post. Flowery bread. Interesting. You got any good equipment, though? Uh, wound resist. Plus six wound resist for 200. It's ridiculous. Physical warding. Still no fire resist, but whatever. Go ahead, leave. Check out the other one. Check out this general merchant shop next. Anything? Movement speed. 610? That is ridiculous. How do you get 610? How? That's a lot. When all you guys ever carry is like nine. Okay, is the orb research completed? Ah, perfect timing, adventurer. I've just finished delivering or delving into the orb's secrets. Our corrupted gremlin king emits an aura so lethal that it would obliterate any adventurer instantly. But fear not, I have a solution. I've concocted an enchantment of awareness. When added to your armor, it will not only protect you from the king's deadly aura, but will also increase your resistances to all the decay-infused magic attacks. When you're ready, bring me an unenchanted piece of armor. Together, we shall arm you for the challenge that awaits. Well, I mean, let's see here. We'll do... We'll do, uh... We'll do the boots. I don't know. Do the pants. Screw it. I've selected an armor piece. Let's just do the pants. I know they're marksmen's, but it's fine. Uh, 50, 15, sorry, percent decay resist and corruption aura immunity. Uh, adventure with the armor in hand, you are now ready to face the ultimate challenge. The Gremlin King awaits, and his power amplified by the decay that courses through his veins. Let me be clear. This will be no ordinary battle. The King's strength is formidable, and his aura of decay is lethal to all who stand in his presence. But fear not, for you now bear the enchantment of Awakening, a shield against his deadly aura. You must step into the battlefield, face the King, and bring an end to his reign of decay. And what if he's too powerful? The weight of doubt is heavy burden to bear. If you find yourself questioning your abilities to overcome the king's might, I suggest bringing me another decay orb and another piece of armor. Now we're ready. Excellent, Ali. Your determination shines brightly, adventurer. Prepare yourself, for the battle ahead will test your courage and skill. May the enchantment of awakening guide and protect you as you confront the gremlin king. Let me, let's get out of here. Can I just leave straight away? I can. That's amazing. It's, uh, I kind of figured it's where it was because we went there once already. And uh, come to find that we couldn't go any further. Deep sleep. Gained one. Continue. I don't know if that was enough though. It's four points. We needed five, right? No, we needed four. Whenever you dodge, you gain five energy. Energy shouldn't be an issue anymore. Okay, where are we heading? To the fortress. Holy goodness, look at all these goblins. I don't know why they try. I'll take them all on. <laughs> 
Easy, easy. Saving lives. Just the one? Where's the rest of your crew at? That's funny. And then we got to rest up in here too. Rest. Look at the map. Go take these gremlins on. I should uh, take a lot of their influence away, I think. Now, I know we didn't loot all of this because this place is massive, but we did a pretty decent job. Or maybe I did loot it all. Yep, this floor here is looted as well. This is where we left off at. Corrupted, blocked, you're protected from corruption. Let's go. I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Take those off, put these ones on instead. Oh, he's big. Wow, look at him. He stands a giant, his cherished treasure, sowing the seed of his own decay. Extended reach, tough, heavily armored, penetrating attacks, healing, knockback chance, cripple and stun. Level 18. Preparing for what? Oh. Wait a minute, what? How do you, can you not avoid it? Oh, what just happened? The undying echo of a king, the glow within his chest throbs a teether to a realm far from our own. Extended reach, rot, leech. Uh, heals plus three HP per turn for decaying roots within two tiles. Destroy his roots, disrupt this healing. Well, listen quick. He dead? As you approach the cane orb, you realize this one is larger than the others. An overwhelming sense of power emanates from it. It pulses with the might of Doodal's control with the potential it holds. In your hands, this power could become a tool or a burden. Your intuition tells you that there are two paths before you. Absorb the orb, destroy the orb, attempt to perceive the orb's essence. I do not know the correct path for this one. Let's attempt to perceive. You reach out to sense the orb. A flood of images and feelings rush through your mind. You understand the orb offers immense power, but also deep-rooted corruption. Let's just go ahead and destroy it. As you prepare to destroy the orb, a sense of calm determination washes over you. However, you're aware that this path will forfeit the orb's immense power. I will still wish to destroy it. Take a deep breath and destroy the orb. A wave of relief washes over you as you feel the corruption in the air dissipate. Moistly done. Gremlin King's key. That wasn't too bad. We, we're just too strong. and we, We're overpowered, really.
Okay, let's get out of here. Well, looks like for the most part, all the quests are completed. The Ascension one, I don't really feel like doing that. It's going to take a long time to just dive into all of these dungeons looking for like three additional ascensions or uh, ascension fragments or whatever they're called. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to be in these temples around here. And there's a lot of them. So the odds of me actually finding one in each, in each individual temple, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it. So I know this is probably going to be a very, very short episode. But we're probably just going to go ahead and call it here. Um, I think what I'll do is probably start another playthrough with the uh, the commoner class. Give that one a shot since we know a little bit more about the game, a little bit more familiar with everything. It'll be a little bit easier of a playthrough. But with that out of the way, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this channel with your friends and family. Catch you all next time. Bye.